Hello everyone, welcome to the demo of stop based tracking. Before we dive into the actual demo, I want to give a bit of introduction into the feature. So who the users are, what the pain points are, so that everyone understands uh, why are we doing this uh, feature and what problems are we solving. So as for the users, we have the dispatcher and the driver. Dispatcher is a person who schedules and assigns the drivers to the trucks and may plans the routes uh, to get things from point A to point B. So basically, a dispatcher needs to make a plan and hit and need to provide a code to the shipper, and this make and his uh, uh, he his responsibility is to make this plan as accurate as possible so that they do not incur losses and they make make it profitable. In order to make this planning proper, he we need to incorporate not just the source and the destination, but also everything that could happen during a tour. There could be refueling, st uh, refueling truck refueling happening. There could be parking. Driver could need to may need to take rest somewhere. They need to accommodate the time at a particular stop to in order to make it as accurate uh, the uh, the pro estimations as accurate as possible. Uh, after planning this information, the dispatcher needs to give this information to his driver. Currently it's not that efficient because they would do it over call or uh, send them an sms and after uh, giving this information to the driver they would also need to track keep track of all this information uh it's difficult to do it um, because if everything is on call you don't have anything recorded uh, and then when you have to monitor the execution, when I say monitoring, when the dispatcher needs to know where the driver is and if he has the driver has picked up the load and he has delivered the load, he would always need to pick up the phone and call the driver and ask him where he is to in order for him to understand uh, and monitor the monitor the delivery. Um, and this entire process would have a lot of communication back and forth from the driver and the dispatcher. This again is a problem if you continuously needs to call, email or sms the driver um, at the end the dispatcher also might need to document everything that happened in order to give a report to the shipper and maybe also in certain use cases where the shipper would uh, the carrier would need to bill the shipper for additional times uh, there would need be need of a documentation which is all all of these points i mentioned are pretty uh, difficult for the shipper to solve at the moment uh, for the driver, uh, it's difficult to track all the information that the shipper has given. For example, the shipper gave a route to get from pick up a load from a source and then deliver it to a destination in between go to a parking slot or refuel at a particular parking station. All this information would be difficult for the driver to keep in mind or just have in the form of an SMS and then go here and there. He would need to communicate back and forth with the shipper to get the information if he has missed something. So all these pain points and needs in mind we designed and developed a functionality or a set of functionalities that we call as stop based tracking stop based tracking would allow the user to basically make uh, have a very accurate plan that incorporates parking rest times refueling loading unloading units adding comments and then um, allowing the ship allowing the carrier and the dispatcher to monitor the execution of the order understand at every point in time where the where the what is the status of the order where the driver is has the driver picked up the load has the driver delivered it and for the driver side he would always have this information on his phone he, he does not need to go back and forth to the with the call in case he does need to he can also do it over the chat so this is a whole suite of functionalities that allows the shipper and the driver better communication and uh, for the dispatcher easy and efficient monitoring and planning of a particular route and also towards the end once an order is completed you also get the documentation of the route so at what time did the driver uh, driver reach the uh, loading location at what time did he come leave it what time did he pick? How much time did he spend at a particular stop? All this information is available to the carrier to make sure that he uh, under, uh, he has uh, while he makes uh, uh, if he wants to build the customer, he could do it based on uh, the information that he has, or if he wants to verify certain information, he also has it documented. So now I will dive into the demo. So uh, let's say you are a dispatcher and you had to pick up something from a location, a source, and then deliver it in Berlin to deliver it to Frankfurt. 
you would normally start off from your home location that let's say here in Pago it uh, we would not it's not a loading stop or something you know, or do we do not need any additional details there because it's just where we start off from we have something to we have a load to pick up from handle logistics it's loading and I know that it would be normally take my driver two hours to do it because of the waiting times there I will ask my driver please pick up the let's Um, and we need to drop this at the Labite warehouse in Frankfurt. So this is an unloading stop. I know it's going to take 45 minutes. And I'm going to ask, please take a picture for proof of delivery. Let me check what the details are. OK, so this is going to take my driver 8,052 minutes. I think based on law we also need to provide a break in between so i would ask my driver to take a small break in a parking lot in leipzig so let me say it's a 45 minute break please take a break of 45 minutes i have reserved a Parking spot for you. You use the QR code to enter, and I save this. Now I have my entire order planned. The execution uh, I have also planned in the parking and the waiting times at the different stops. So it is a very accurate planning. And now the next step to do is send this order to my driver i will do I, so I will do so by just selecting the send option here send to driver app and now i then send it to the driver so from here onwards i would then switch to our switch to our mobile app i will i'm um, we have a pre-recorded video of how it how the process goes to the mobile app so I will switch to that. So here, as you can see, the driver gets assigned the order. And we start the order. And now the driver can see all the details around the order and how what's the basic information, all, all details about the order. And we can start it. The driver goes to and arrives at the first stop. And now he leaves to the from the first stop, and he has an and he can now go to the second stop, complete his action, start loading. He could see my comment there in the details saying uh, to load thirty pallets, and now he finishes loading, and then moves on to the third stop. He arrives at the parking stop. I have all. You can see the comment that I've left. I have reserved a parking spot for you. Please use the QR code that I've sent to you to change it. So it's easy communication. The driver does not ask, need to go back and ask the dispatcher over a call. So now after leaving the parking spot, he goes to the unloading stop and, and starts unloading. And he can also see my comment at the unloading stop. Please take a picture for proof of delivery. And he does unloading, and now he takes tries to take a picture. He goes to the camera app, and then he clicks a picture for proof of delivery, probably, and now adds a comment, which the dispatcher can back come back and see. And that's it. That's it from the driver side. And now this all the information starts going back to back to the fleet so now i get back to the slide the order has been assigned to the driver you can also see the order here the status is pending and the other order details can be seen here you can also check and edit the 
it, it stops until the driver uh, has started the order. So now once the driver starts the order, you can also see this on the fleet. The status would be changing. The order is assigned. Now you can see the driver has started driving. You can already see the status changing here and what's the ETA to the location. And you can see how the look, uh, how the status changes here. You can also see that here when the order is in progress now, it was pending before. Now the driver has reached the location. The driver is again driving to the next next stop. Uh, this uh, there's a feature where we show the map, but that's not yet completed, so we cannot really see the map, uh, the exact route here. Uh, otherwise, you would be seeing the route along which the driver is moving, and then you can actually compare it to the planned route, like you can see here. But right now, that feature is not completed. That's why you would just see the driver here but then the status updates are completed based on what the, what when the driver is wiping maybe you could do just add a map here then um, show it if it's not too much work or you can just skip it it's up to you how you want to show it or you can also skip this part and just tell them this this would change now the driver has completed the order and that's why the driver has no orders left so that's it uh, for for demonstrating the fleet side and the order side of uh, of the send, send, sub base tracking.